Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to push rigid body or physics objects within Unity 3D. And this is all about having, you know, your character controller and having the ability to, as long as these objects have got um, rigid bodies, you'll be able to push them over with a certain force. And it's quite good, you know, to add a bit of realism to your game. Now, it requires um, one fairly simple script, and you just may need to make sure that you have the right elements that I'm going to show you here. So in my scene, you know, you may have seen this scene before with my um, scene character controller. Just my standard lights. Now I've got three barrels in the scene. Now I'm going to select each one of these barrels because they're exactly the same. And then what I'm going to do is actually go to component physics and then add mesh collider to each of them. Now when I play this, actually before I do, I'll go also go component physics and rigid body. Now if I play this, they would all fall through the actual floor which is no good, you don't want stuff falling through the floor and that's because the collider isn't big enough so if we take them both to convex on the mesh collider you'll notice they don't fall through the floor anymore so you need to make sure that when you put a rigid body on an object if the collider's not big enough say if you added a box collider or a sphere collider then it would be big enough because it would you know, go out the boundaries but as long as we tick convex now once you have all your physics um, colliders and your mesh colliders on there. We'll actually start creating the script. So if you create new and then JavaScript and we'll call this um, object physics. And then we'll open up in mono develop. And when that's open up what we'll do is we'll delete these two lines and we'll say variable push power is equal to 2.0 and then we'll write a function called on controller collider hit all words have in capitals and then we'll open brackets say hit then call on controller collider hit again and then we'll close that brackets we'll open up the two curly brackets and say variable body and then call on rigid body equals hit dot collider dot attached rigid body and then we'll write a semicolon then we'll say under here is if body is set to or equal to null we're going to add two um, sort of line breaks I don't actually know what you call these but next to your shift key and next to Z if you hold shift and then press the key next to Z, you'll add these two sections and then we'll say body dot is kinematic close those brackets underneath we'll say return with a semicolon then underneath we'll say if hit dot move direction is less than minus naught point three close the brackets then we'll also say return then we'll say we'll have a variable called push die for to push direction and then have that set to vector 3 and have it equal to vector 3 open brackets hit dot move direction dot x comma 0 comma hit dot move direction dot z close the brackets and then add a semicolon and then we'll say under there is body dot velocity equals push direction times by if I could find the star push power so what this means is we set a push power at the beginning now we're saying that if the controller collider so the one on your FPS controller hits an attached rigid body um, then if it's null or if it doesn't hit anything we're not going to do anything and if your movement direction is this it ret return the value and then the push direction is the direction that we're moving in and then the power is the power at which we push the object so we'll make sure we save that I made a mistake here and I need to have hif hit move direction dot y is less than minus 0 
On the first person trolley you can now add the object physics and then we've got push power so you can change that. So if we play the game you'll notice that I can run into these and I can push each of these objects down and you know, I can push them around. You could change the mass of the actual object so if you change the mass to something like I don't know 0.2 for that object. Now we'll push this one over and then what we'll do, we'll be able to push this other one over easier than the other two because it's got less mass to it but I'll keep everything at 1. So that's pretty much it for actually making objects or physics objects fall over or um, be pushed by your character. I've actually got another tutorial coming up that if the object falls over then it will actually uh, make a sound effect but this is all we have, I have for now. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget, if you like the tutorial, like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.